Brand new animation here for the second half. From the latest edition of the AV Files, we shine a light north of the border on the finest Canadian export since Jim Carrey. Look at that rubber face. No, it's not Drake or Avril Lavigne or The Weeknd. How about The Idol, by the way? But another guy who can rock and roll in the city where the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame is situated. Josh Naylor of the Cleveland Guardians and the pride of Mississauga, Ontario, just outside of Toronto. In recent memory for the Guardians offense, it's been Jose Ramirez and who else? It's like Gladys Knight and the Pips, minus the Pips. Enter Naylor to the rescue. The slugger leads the majors with a 388 average since May 27. The next closest hitter is Luis Arise in a 379 clip, nine points behind. Naylor has quietly boosted his season average of 310, seventh highest in baseball, and has now driven in 75 runs, fourth most in baseball. He has an 872 OPS, leading the Guardians, ahead of Jose Ramirez's 855 OPS. This is a massive reversal of fortune after his early season struggles. In his first 43 games, Naylor hit 225 with a 273 on base and a 397 slugging percentage with 12 extra base hits and 32 RBI in his last 42 games. However, Naylor is smashing 388, 421 on base and a 636 slug with 25 extra base hits and 43 RBI. Even with seven home runs in the three-game series against the Pirates, Cleveland with 71 home runs have 11 fewer than any other team this season. The Royals are next up at 82. The Guardians need their offense to step up with Shane Bieber joining Cal Quantrill and Tristan McKenzie on the IL. Bieber was prime trade bait for Cleveland, even though his K per nine is at a career worst 7.3 this season. So Naylor's run has been essential for a team fighting neck and neck with the Minnesota Twins for the AL Central title. Naylor is a fan favorite for obvious reasons. Emotional and fiery, he will always be known for the headbutt heard around the world when he nearly took out his manager, the beloved Terry Francona. Even when Naylor plays the heel, he's irresistible. Remember his rock the baby home run celebration, which fired up every Yankee fan in the Bronx. Baseball is all about passion and emotion, and Naylor rides that wave as well as anyone. Now, with the productivity of his game matching his volatility, there's no telling where he can help take the Guardians who are ready to pounce another patented second-half surge.